Hey everybody, I was asked to make a video on how I'm doing a particular process with running a Facebook ad in KW Command, getting leads and then assigning them to an agent on my team. So there are several pieces I want to show you here because it seems to be working quite well now. All right, so first of all, I ran a Facebook ad for a new listing. So that's just a standard, um, let me just show it to you just because somebody's gonna say, but show us the ad. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into campaigns. I actually am split testing, so I'm running two ads and I have a um, one ad that has a picture of the kitchen and then I have another ad that has a picture of the pool and they're running side by side. I wanted to kind of do a test, you know, pretty standard American, uh, Vegas kitchen, pretty standard Vegas pool, running them split test. So you can see here, we have, um, I'll just show you a picture of the ad. So uh, this is a two story, five bedroom, three bath, three car garage. There's a picture of the pool. And then here's a picture of the kitchen. And then I'm kind of split testing them to see which one would get the most um, amount of conversions or click throughs, whatnot. So they're both running each for 10 days. I put $100 on each one of them. And then as we can see right now, the one with the pool is getting more impressions from Facebook. And my cost per lead at this point is only 58 cents. My cost per lead on the one with the kitchen is $1.08. So, uh, you know, not quite double right now, but obviously the one with the pool is performing better. Anyway, the way I have these running is they're just on, um, I'm the Rainmaker, they're on my account, and as the leads come in, I am assigning them to the agent on my team. And the reason why I did not set up automation this time through Zapier like I've done in the past is I've noticed when I have Zaps working, we're getting leads dropping into our system that are from other states and clearly don't belong to us. So I, I, I'm under the impression there's something, there might be some kind of weird little thing going on with Zapier and Command, I'm not sure. But for right now, I said, let me just see if I can just assign these to the agent on my team. Okay, so here's how it works. The ad is running and it is a lead form ad. So what that means is when the person clicks on learn more, there is a form that is auto-populated with their profile information. So it pulls in their name from their Facebook profile, their email and their phone number. And for the person to be able to access any info about this property, they have to give their permission to send that info over. Now that doesn't mean that they understand that that's then gonna be forwarded to a real estate agent, but they are giving their consent. Here's my info in exchange for, to be able to see what's behind this ad. That's called a lead form. So when you run the ad, you have to choose lead form for this to work this way, okay? Now, when a lead comes in, it, comes, it shows up in a couple different ways. The first one is by email. So this is new. So now I'm getting an email that says, hey, Lori Ballin, you have a new lead. You have a new Facebook lead. Click below to view it in command. And in addition, um, it says the lead's name, new lead received. So that's cool too. So now I can tell a little bit of a difference like, oh, did I already get that one? Or So a little email notification, which is nice. Of course, you get your Kelly notification. And there's a on this bell right here, there's a red icon. If you click that, you'll be able to see all your leads that are coming in. It says I have a new lead. I can click that new lead info and it's going to open the lead. Now what I do up on the right hand side, I have to make sure that the Rainmaker account is selected because there's even as the Rainmaker, I have a personal account. So you can see here, Lori Ballin. But then I have a team account, just like my agents on my team do. So they have a team account and they have a, um, they have their own account and they have being able to access team uh, features. So this will not work. What I'm about to do is show you how we can assign this to an agent on our team. So if I forget to select that and I only have Lori Ballin personal selected, 
and I click this little pencil to edit, add more information, sales pipeline, there is no option to assign the lead. And the reason why is because I don't have my team selections on. So if that happens to you, you got to come up here to the arrow, make sure it says team leader, rainmaker. Now go to the little plus sign to assign the lead. Go down and click add more info, sales pipeline. Now we can assign it to an agent on your team. So I sign this to Krista and I'm going to click save. Now what happens is Krista gets a notification that she has a lead and these are now showing up in her account. Okay. Now another way to do it is if you're looking at it from this view and you know these are all leads coming in that you want to assign to somebody on your team, click on the three dots to the right, assign to, and now I'm going to assign this one to Krista. You could do a search by tag. You can use another sort of search filter and pull up everybody you want to assign. And then you can assign them all in one batch if you want. As of right now, these leads have gotten 10. I just started running them last night. 20. No. So it looks like we're at about 17 ads. Uh, oh, it was showing us in the campaigns. I forgot. Yeah, that sounds about right at this point. So... Um, anyway, we'll keep these running and we'll be able to see which one performed best, but that's, that's a simple way to assign leads to your team members. Now, if I wanted to double check this and I want to see, oh, did I assign that to her already? I can open the lead and look right here. It says assigned to Krista Porter. So it still remains a lead that's on my team but it's assigned to Krista. So now David's not going to grab it from the lead pool and start working it. And I can see who it's assigned to. And look right here. Krista actually made a note at 3.30 that said first attempt. And she's got a note there that she tried to reach them. So I'm also able to see the notes and how she is working this lead, which is incredibly important as the Rainmaker or if you have an ISA or a lead coordinator, it's very important for us to be able to see what's happening in this timeline and how they're working with them. Now it does, Krista did say she's assigning smart plans and I can't see, I don't see a smart plan assigned here. And I'm not sure, I do have to check with Krista to see if she's, if, if, it, I, my guess is because her smart plans are not my smart plans, so it wouldn't show that. But at least I can see where she's making notes. So for me, I would be making sure to tell all, all of my team members, hey, make sure you're taking good notes because I may not be able to see the text or the email.